What's up, amigos, amichis, and friends, mes amis? Uh, once another again, another balmy summer, summer day here in Montreal, Quebec. And uh, I'm taking full advantage of it. And uh, But mind you, uh, the days are getting repetitive. It seems like it's been the hottest summer on record. Uh, I, every time I say that to people, they don't seem to, uh, to agree with me, really. They're thinking about it too much. But anyway, that's the way I see it. And uh, so I got the Schwinn, the 58 Schwinn. Uh, Mark IV Jaguar here, and uh, it's really clear to me now that unfortunately this bike, as beautiful as it is, as much as it cost me to get it restored, and it's rare, it doesn't ride as straight as my roll fast, and my roll fast, which is lighter and actually <laughs> like 11 years older, it rides better than this one. And of course you got that fake gas tank on there, the seat is plastic, it's heavier. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just also a heavier gauge steel all around in the frame, I don't know. But I figured, uh, well, why not do a little biking video, even though this thing doesn't steer the straightest. Oh, I should mention that I'm next to the old CP line here, Canadian Pacific. Uh, I would, I wanted to wait here for a train like I've done in the past, but uh, it's just too hot to be in the sun today, uh, standing still. So, I'm going to try that again another day. I like the color on that Mazda 3 there. So, let's see what we can see. Now, first off, I should mention that this used to be a very industrial area. That's why that seat, just like a lot of old train lines, you know, uh, where there's, you know, old uh, freight lines, freight li uh, uh, rail lines where there's freight, that's where the industry is, right? And even if it's in the countryside or smaller towns, because again, that's, you know, this stuff came off the trains, off a of spur or cider, if you will. and. Uh, and wound up here. I've never actually been on this part of this tree here. Look at this wall here. Look at that. It looks like there could be a prison here for crying out loud. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. The uh, Schwinn has been uh, getting on my nerves a little bit today. It's like, it seems like one of the spokes are loose or something. I don't know. Was checking it. Didn't seem like any of them were really loose. So yeah, you can see that uh, some a lot of old industry here. I think uh, some of these buildings were textile. I'm pretty sure about that. It wasn't just Chabanel area where it was textile. Look at that, look at these old loading docks. Hey, that's really old, man. Even that roof design looks like it was like the, uh, the old Montreal bus terminal there. Ooh. Oh, but seriously, look at this place. Oh, it is a church. I heard. Yeah, it's part of a church. Or a nunnery or something, or an orphanage, maybe an orphanage, I don't know. Look, there's a garbage truck. Hey, look at that bike. Fuck. Fucking son of a bitch. Fucking goddamn potholes. Look at that. That's a, a really easy way, a surefire way to fucking bail off your bike, man. Christ. Or fucking tire on a car or a bike or damage a rim son of a bitch maybe that's one of the reasons why this bike don't go very straight is because uh stupid fucking uh, roads you know As a matter of fact when i took my bike out of the locker there that's when i noticed when i started riding that the spoke started to make noise so yeah it's because of our wonderful roads it doesn't help of course that my road on my street is under construction hopefully they're going to have that wrapped up in the next couple weeks but look at these, some of these buildings again, you know, a lot of rejuvenation. This is not very old. This high rise here, condo, major condo. Oh shit, this is a one way street now? Damn it. Crap, it's still on region game. Well, well, that's okay. Since it's kind of narrow, I'll just keep going this way for a while. There's a really old garage, eh? look at that. Look at that, old body. <laughs> As an auto body, man, that's a really old sign. Yeah, long out of business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is a bit trying, actually. I don't like, I'm not supposed to really be riding against traffic. You know, you're supposed to be going with it, you know? That old lady, she's all. Googly googly. 
No, of course, if you don't know me, I'm a fanatic of old cars and trucks and stuff and buses. I'm always looking for I'm always looking for stuff here on the streets for content. So six months out of the year, it's like a fucking uh, ice rink around here. Look at all these fucking colorless cars. Jesus Christ, look at the black, gray, gray, black, white, silver. It's fucking unbelievable. It's mind-boggling. It, it, for me, it's fucking mind-boggling, I think, more than anybody in the world. And interesting, eh? Look, all these old-ass buildings, a variety of ages. That's what I remembered about this street. And then you got all this whole condo here. It doesn't seem to fit the picture whatsoever, does it? It doesn't go along with things. Look how old this house is, man. Looks like it could be one of the oldest houses on the street. Might be, but I don't think so. I love that overgrowth, though, eh? This is a good-looking GMC van. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we are in the, by the way, we're in the Plateau Montoyal sector of the city, one of the city, city, one of the sectors of the cities that has gotten to be the most expensive to live in, unfortunately. Not how it used to be. So, and unfortunately, as much as I am obsessed with old cars, there's not as many as there used to be. Oh, yeah, I know where I am now. This is Laurier. Uh, Fire Station 30 is just up the street here, actually. I like that yellow there. I don't know, sometimes I think when you see yellow on a building, it's really symbolic to, you know, how things, like a lot of things used to be painted yellow, even cars, you know, and now it's like, it's just, it's kind of passe, it seems, no? Yeah, a little bit passe. Oh boy, yeah, I'm not crazy. I know, I know, I know, fuck, I'm not supposed to be doing this, but I'm not gonna stop fucking filming just because the goddamn traffic uh, is going the other way. You gotta think outside the box. Just be safe. I gotta be safe. Look at this fucking guy. He's gonna go 100 miles an hour. I got a fucking Audi. You guys like you're what give you guys a bad fucking reputation. Fucking Audi drivers, man. Sometimes it seems like they're all the same. They all drive dangerously. They're the worst, fuck. People say Mercedes, BMW. No, no, no. Audi. Audi. Fucking Audi, suck up, man. The only Audi that's the most impressive anyway is the R8. And if that, the A8. And both of them because they're rare. And now we are at Boulevard Saint Joseph. Scrap! Hybrid junk! Nova scrap. Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it? And as my uh, one of my friends and subscribers, Mr. Herb Fong, pointed out in one of my other videos, unfortunately, uh, those buses and all the other scraps from 2009, they're, they're the ones that have really, uh, unfortunately, taken down uh, Montreal's quality in general. Quite a peg, quite a peg down. The fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is that this is one of the greatest cities in the world, and I've been saying this for the past few years, we should have some of the best fucking buses in the world and they're fucking garbage or junk. I mean, what the hell is that all about, you know? Who is it that was telling me recently, actually, that uh, in some other, like, yeah, yeah, some in other municipalities near Montreal, like, you know, they order buses, nice cushy seats, or better suspension. What do we get? We get fucked as usual. C'est ça, Montréal. Montréal, là, ça veut dire getting fucked. Paying up the ass and everything, and getting less. Fucking stupid city. Love that home. Isn't that nice? Got that nice country look to it, eh? Very historic. Oddly enough, that... That fucking condo next to it really takes away with it. I mean, I can't imagine if the owner had been there a long time they would to, to know that was going to happen. They'd be like horrified, like, what the fuck? You know, you're building what next to my house? Right next to my house? That's a shame. Yeah, yeah, like many sectors, the plateau has changed. So it was Rosemo, Hochelaga, and other areas as well. And one of these days, I'm just going to fuck off and go live in a normal area. Yeah. Uh, you don't like my swearing? Don't fucking watch my videos. Don't don't continue watching. Don't subscribe, especially. I don't know. Sometimes I don't swear much. Depends on the context or my mood. You know. It is what it is. Oh, beautiful trees here in shade. Oh, baby, I love it. A little uh, smut stank to boot. Yeah, buddy. I hear you. Oh, nice alleyway here. Look at that. Beautiful. We'll get back to that one day. Look at that. Hey, eh? weird. Fuck. Look at that. Old, old. New or modern, old, fucking weird. Any green space they could think of making fucking money, they're going to do it. Oh, that reminds me. Those of you who are from Montreal and know this city well and you used to be proud to live here, you are proud or whatever. Something quite disturbing, unfortunately, has come up. I noticed in the news. Every of you guys know in Point Clair, Point Clair Village, the Pioneer Club. 
The fucking Pioneer Club is, looks like it's gonna be torn down. It was sold and they're gonna make a fucking condo. Fuck. The Pioneer fucking club. The place is over a hundred years old, man. I used to go there with my friends back in the day. You know? Man, oh man, is this ever a weird place for a high-rise building? What the hell is this? It's got a government flag, so it's Quebecois there. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, the Pioneer Club. Jesus, what a disappointment. A hey, good-looking blazer. I used to go there with my friends, you know? Have some pints, have some beers, some laughs, good music, rock and roll. And they're going to tear this fucking place down, you know? The owners sold it because apparently it needs too much repairs. Obviously too expensive, but I mean, it's just, it's a shame, you know, I mean, they want to, and the worst part is that everything in that area, it's like a small town, all the buildings are old, a lot of those buildings are a hundred years old or more, and what are they going to do? They're going to fucking replace it, one of these modern looking condos, like you just saw a few times in this video, it's just, it's such a shame, you know, uh, I think it's a goddamn shame anyway. Anyway, on that note, uh, I'm going to finish here on the corner, I like this going downhill, that's one of the reasons why I filmed this here, is just... You know, I, I knew that I wouldn't have to pedal much. So I did that too. Because the lighting is right too. If I was going the other way, the lighting wouldn't be as nice. Yeah, I'm going to stop right here, man, because it's uh, getting kind of annoying to, uh, you know, hold the camera and steer at the same time. You know. Scrap! Again! Where am I now? Mount Royal? Mont Royal? Or Villeneuve? It is, it is, Mont Royal. Wow, what's that guy smoking? <laughs> anyway guys, that's it. Oh great, more of this. Uh, well, there's one good thing about those goddamn buses. I don't know about these ones, but they have air conditioning. That's it, that's all that's good about them. People will say, well, they're good for the environment. Yeah, well, that's what it would seem. I don't buy it anymore anyway. Anyway, Elton uh, McFall saying, uh, out. Bye-bye.